we just went into the truck to go and get some stuff packed up here so we could take a whole bunch of things to little blue sky cottage and i saw this bright red stripe across the grass and then I'm, philip went running <laughs> i've never seen one this color before i'm gonna it's, try to get it in the light this way here it's absolutely gorgeous it's like an orangey red so pretty I've, I've never seen one like this and i don't know if it's because it was cold last night or let me just change this top thing just a little bit more where we're over there we go like it looks like a garter snake. It smells like a garter snake. Yeah, I can smell your hand smell. <laughs> oh my gosh. He must went all right over underneath me. the truck, so Philip had to get him because I didn't want to run him over pulling out with the trailer. What a pretty snake. It's so vibrant. Yeah, look at the head on him. He's really cool. We just got to our little blue sky cottage and we wanted to make sure before the rain came on the weekend that we would get the kitchen that we were going to upcycle for the cottage here. So we just brought it and then Philip remembered yesterday when we were trying to think of what we we're going to put underneath the greenhouse. I know a lot of you were commenting, oh my gosh, you've got your wood down on the ground. What are you going to do? But we wanted to get started building before the weather changed and hadn't figured out exactly what we're going to put underneath the greenhouse. We know eventually we're going to put a floor in it, but Philip remembered that we had a whole ton of cinder blocks left here at the cottage from actually moving the cottage from one side of the property to the other so we're going to drop this off fill the trailer with the cinder blocks and then take those home to hoist up the greenhouse before we start getting painted Hey, Han. Yeah. We have cinder blocks over here. FJ here. You're gonna make me back it up. I think he got it, Han. I've been practicing driving with the trailer. I don't know about backing up. <laughs> what a perfect lot. Are you trying to make a comedy show here? I mean, what? it's an empty lot. There's not much you can hit besides little blue. Don't hit little blue. Yeah, or me. Or well, I mean, that's a possibility, but... Okay, don't help me. I'm gonna try. Okay. You're gonna film this and show everyone my bad back. <laughs> <laughs> What if you're about to hit something? Pardon? <laughs> Nothing, you're doing great. I know the concept, but the ground is not level. Then go harder. Pardon? Then go harder. Uh. Hey, hon. Okay. That was pretty good. Why would you back up? Just drive I forward. Can pull out this way. Yeah, right? Why not? You thought you had me. I did have you. Okay, that made me super thirsty. I was stressing out big time. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know how I feel when I'm sitting passenger. They're not 
not gonna it's not gonna be when they're butted up the measurements aren't gonna be exactly perfect right for what how many mean? are gonna go across like across one way we might need like seven and a half or we might need right like they're not gonna be we're still gonna probably have to skirt it after or at least with the fill to make it look like you don't see the foundation part but we'll prop this one side up and try yeah, to get prop this one side up and then see I mean, like, it doesn't look crooked the way it is. Yo, right now, <laughs> it looks so crooked. Aww. And this back corner is like way down here. But I think if this one was up more, it would help some of the non leveled at the front here right now. So, so maybe we do need to put at least one there and then start working our Well, way. yeah, because we gotta, we have to put some fill, fill there. In, yeah. yeah. So we're going to be using some, what is it called? Phil, what's it called, Phil? <laughs> what's it called, Phil? <laughs> I don't know, like aggregate crush? Aggregate crush. I don't know what this stuff is. It's not clean fill by any means, but everyone uses it for driveways around here. Yeah. Just crush rock. And so we're going to put some of that underneath the cinder blocks. And on this left side of the greenhouse, we're going to be doing approximately two cinder blocks tall all the way around to level it with the one block on the other side because the greenhouse is built on a bit of a hill here. This is the flattest spot, believe it or not, and this is where we need to do it for the sun. So Philip's gonna work on that, and I'm gonna start getting some things prepped to be able to start painting some of the boards on the greenhouse. But before we actually do that, we also need to make some adjustments to the front here because if you saw yesterday's video, we found those two amazing doors. And so now we need to make a few adjustments to the front so that we can fit those two wide dual doors we're gonna put at the front. Lisha's just trying to figure out where the top header is going to go for the doors, for the beautiful double doors. And I am taking a break from doing these cinder blocks, but I think it's going to look good with the cinder blocks on the bottom. It's a lot of work, but I'm trying to do it so it's bright so that it won't, you know, shift later on. There's not a lot of weight to a greenhouse, so, but there is a lot of weight. Once the doors are up and we know exactly how tall from the ground up, like I can lower that. That's why I didn't. Well, really why do you put the doors there right now and then we'll kind of see? Um, Let's move that board that's sticking through the middle there. Yeah, that was our leveling board. <laughs> <laughs> it's too short because he dug out the ground here. He took away a whole foot of my height, Phil. <laughs> <Oop>. <laughs> 
We're not very tall to begin with. <laughs> yeah, you can't take a, a we foot. We can't from lose me. a foot. I'll be four foot three. Although, hon, I did watch a show where they <laughs> are extending people's height with a little minor surgery. Okay, tell me, would you pay seventy-five thousand dollars to have a surgeon put these stints in your uh -uh. femur? Yeah. And they put these things in your femur that stretch the length of your nope. femur over a certain amount of time, nope. giving you height. Uh -uh. Is height that important that nope. you would do that to yourself? No, nope, there's six foot ladders. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a ladder any day. Another full day working on our dream greenhouse. We kind of been working a little bit backwards doing this sort of foundation around the outside, but I think this is going to be for the best since we decided to not use pressure treated since we're going to be painting this greenhouse anyways. And we are on a bit of a hill here. So Phil's been working really hard to get that all done, get the crush underneath and those cinder blocks that we had got for the cottage that we didn't end up needing. So it was really good to be able to not have to buy any more materials to be able to do that. And then we just temporarily used some hinges that we had kind of here I grabbed the wrong ones today I didn't want to grab the ones with the L on them but I'm gonna get some different hinges tomorrow but we wanted to see what the doors were going to look like when they were hung and I think that it's going to look exceptional so we didn't get to painting today we've obviously run out of daylight so if you're dying to know what color I've decided to paint our greenhouse stay tuned for tomorrow's episode because tomorrow is painting day finally thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow